This morning, a new look for the Oval Office, the room at the center of the American presidency. President Biden putting his imprint on the iconic space, surrounding himself with portraits of presidents past. Like FDR, who led the country through times of crisis, and political rivals Alexander Hamilton and Thomas Jefferson, emphasizing the value of differing views in a democracy. Replacing a painting of Andrew Jackson that stared back at President Trump, one of America's founding fathers, Benjamin Franklin, highlighting President Biden's promise to follow science. The Oval remains unchanged, but what's inside captures the identity and priorities of each president. Our guide, Deputy Director of Oval Office Operations, Ashley Williams. It's the new Oval Office, the day one Oval Office. Among those celebrated here, a series of American heroes, Martin Luther King Jr., Rosa Parks, and Robert F. Kennedy. Someone who, like Mr. Biden, also endured his share of personal tragedies. At the president's back, Latino labor leader Cesar Chavez looking out for the working man alongside personal photos of President Biden's family. What message is President Biden sending with this Oval Office? It's about the American people, about the diversity of experience, the resilience and the possibilities of the American future. And anchoring the room, the resolute desk shared by so many before him, where some of the most consequential decisions in this nation's history have been made. Gone, the flags of all the military branches that framed President Trump. But what's back? That dark blue rug from the Clinton years, a remake of the world's most powerful office, and a reflection of who we are as a nation. Really a unique opportunity to kind of just soak in that room, spotted behind the resolute desk, by the way, a picture of the president and the pope, an ode to Joe Biden's faith. And how does a president come up with those portraits and busts? I asked Ashley, and she tells me the incoming president's offered a book by the usher's office with a selection of items, mostly from the White House collection to consider. She says it remains a work in progress that President Biden will add more items in the months to come. Hoden Craig. Yeah, they do not waste any time. All right, uh, Peter Alexander at the White House. Peter, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.